Hey traders, this is Jeff from Zen Trader with a market timing update. Uh, this is a fairly important update because we did get a sell signal after the close yesterday. I sent out an email to my subscribers of the free newsletter that I offer on my blog. If you're interested in getting that, the day that the market timing signal does change, uh, you can sign up right on my blog. I really can't get it out any faster than I do. Uh, it's generally about 90 minutes before the after hours market, but if you want to trade some liquid ETFs, then you can totally posi position yourself uh, that way. That's generally what I do initially, and given that I was already short from around these levels, uh, I didn't enter any new positions because I'm fairly I'm about 50% invested on the short side and and those trades are actually split my diamonds are up and my cues are just slightly down so it's almost as if I just entered uh, the trades on Friday now if we break below these lows here I'll probably add to my position uh, I'll probably double that position because that will more or less confirm uh, well, not really confirmed because my timing signal is already confirmed, but I'll probably that will probably spark some some more selling that I want to take advantage of, and then maybe uh, I'll exit those trading shares uh, down here, which could be support. It's it's really tough to say. I don't really like to place targets because then you become too attached to that result. But my timing signal did flip. I actually liked that the markets were up. Uh, it felt. You know, to me, the majority of the move was Google's earnings. I, uh, you know, I, I think the the a lot of the macro news is kind of hanging over the market. You can see that in the Dow's uh, severe underperformance, and you know, we do have this bullish falling wedge, which we're right at the top. Uh, you know, if I had to throw out a guess, I would say that that Friday's move felt engineered. It felt like uh, you know, it, it's going to give traders, investors a false sense that the markets are going to rally, and, and maybe they will. But what I'm seeing with my indicators, uh, some that I don't talk about, uh, it, it just seems like a lot of the stars are aligning for a significant move down. It's going to be interesting to see whether or not that plays out. Uh, here's a chart which kind of shows you how the internals of the market are really reversing so let's look at this chart this is a Nasdaq 10-day moving average of the record high percent index that's a mouthful so you can kind of see here uh, the percentage of stocks that are hitting record high uh, this is the 10-day moving average uh, so here you have the market hitting a bottom and then you have this indicator Okay, I'm kind of making higher highs, higher lows, struggling to make a high, but still making a higher low, uh, basically topping out. I mean, you can't get much higher than this. So as long as the lows are continuing to make a higher high, then that's a good sign. Uh, and, and then you have this this decline, which uh, is a major higher, I mean lower high. Did I say that right? Uh, a lower low <laughs> sorry and then same thing now look at what's happening here uh, a higher high a, a lower high lower high and then the, the lows are continuing to drop as well and then basically it was really low here during the sell-off and now it's trying to get back but it's way lower than these highs so here you have a gradual increase and here you have a gradual decrease. Not a good sign for the future uh, move, the, the future uh, price appreciation of the markets. So this is this is a significant chart to pay attention to. Uh, real quick, I'm running out of time. TSX looks like it's about to issue another. Uh, I got a sell signal here, and it's still on a sell, but it looks like it's about to issue another sell signal. Maybe sometime next week. Uh, might not be until August and then markets that I'm bullish on are gold and silver and uh, for a number of reasons so I would definitely buy those on uh, uh, intraday dips that's what I'm that's how I'm playing it